Hey, welcome back to Big Al's Above Ground Pool Tips. I'm Big Al. Do you have wedding cake steps like these, but you can't keep them on the bottom of your pool? Don't, I repeat, do not fill them with sand. I'm gonna show you a better way to do it, use them with some four inch PVC, and keep them down all in the pool. Let's do that right now. Okay, so I've got these steps off, and this is what I've done for the past two years. I have some three quarter inch PVC, and you can see there's these holes that you can slide it into. And to make it go all the way across, you just gotta cut it and get a coupler on there. So you can slide it in one side, put your coupler on, and then slide it back into the other side. And that's how we're gonna hang that four inch uh, PVC from there. But this is what I've been using. These are just gallon jugs filled with sand but I'm afraid over time that's gonna start getting uh, eaten up by the chlorine and may start leaking. So we're gonna to go to something more permanent. I'm just gonna weigh these and put the equal amount of concrete in those pipes. I'm gonna show you how to do that out in the shop. So let's get this problem fixed and let's get started. Okay guys, this should be a pretty quick upgrade because I'm, I've done all the math for you, okay? So <clears throat> my pool steps are the Confer Deluxe Curve pool steps and I know that they require 53 pounds to hold them down. And that was what I'm using right now. Four gallon jugs of sand. And what's interesting is a gallon of sand weighs 13 pounds, right? A gallon of concrete weighs 20 pounds. So I'm able to use this four inch schedule 40 PVC. It's 16 inches long, okay? I'm, I'm only gonna need three of these. 16 inches long, filled with concrete. And what you wanna do is use this back of concrete mix here, ready mix. Mix it as dry as you can, put it in there, and then here's a big owl tip. Use your orbital sander without a sanding pad like I'm doing here, just to consolidate that concrete and bring it all down so it weighs more, okay? Once you do that, you're gonna get some of these, what's called test caps. They're real cheap. Uh, I looked at the PVC caps that go in here. They're like anywhere from six to $14 each, and I need six of them, so I, uh, Went and got quarter inch by two and a half inch stainless steel bolts right here. And then I just made this up and I PVC glued it onto here. That bolt right there is going to embed to this concrete. And then I can hang this to my three quarter inch uh, pipe out by the pool on the steps with a zip tie. All right, so I'm just going to glue these up while I'm, I'm continuing to talk to you. You always want to use a primer, right? And this goes down to the inside, so I just do that piece. And then I'm gonna do this piece. Now, I get asked this question all the time. Do I need to leave my steps in for the winter or take them out? Well, it depends on where you live. If your pool freezes solid, those steps need to come out and you need to drain all the water out of them, okay? I'm in North Georgia, my pool never freezes solid, so I just detach my steps and lay them on the bottom of the pool and leave them in because I'll tell you why. If you take those steps out and they still have water in it, there's all sorts of stuff that's gonna grow inside your pool steps while they're sitting there, okay? So that's why, that's why I leave mine in the pool. All right, that's it. We're just gonna let this dry up. I'm gonna wipe this off and these things will be ready to go. It's gonna be a lot safer I'm not going to have to worry about it, and hopefully it'll last longer than me. All right, folks, that's it. I'll see you next time.